All right, everyone. The first thing I recommend you do is you paint your entire tray black. The black we provided in the kits, that makes the colors stand out better and creates a nicer gap between all of the pieces, which makes it look a lot more finished. All right, mine I've already painted black because it would be as exciting as watching paint dry to watch me do it. So here we go, we've already started. The next thing that we'd want to do is to perhaps draw a picture on the inside. It doesn't have to be pictorial, it can be abstract, it can be waves. Now that I've got my start, I'm gonna take my liquid glass. Now in the kit, we're gonna give you enough to just sort of do two trays so you can play around on the first tray you've got. The tray itself is gonna hold back the liquid glass so it doesn't sort of flow out everywhere. It kind of has like a honey consistency. Fantastic. Now you don't want to wait for that to dry. You just want to jump right in. Okay, I'm going to start with the pink and we want to try and fit these in somewhat like a puzzle. We're trying to keep it roughly within the lines and when other colors meet, they create solid bands of color. Now if you went cow spots everywhere wouldn't have any sort of picture to it at all. It can still look nice, um, but you wouldn't see the lines if I just put random patterns everywhere. Solid areas of color, keeping your pattern simple. These are all really good type of things. If you were to try and do, you know, a dog in a park catching a ball with the sun, you might have trouble doing that with just these pieces here. Oops, drop green in there. Well, if I drop something in there, I can just move it over. My next color will be green over there. Excellent. Plop in my next one. I like to use my pencil to move pieces around or navigate them so they fit better. Sort of turn them until I get them in the spot that I want. And if you get a bit of the medium on your hands that we're using to glue this all in, the uh, pouring medium, the liquid glass, you can just wash your hands after. Now you want to try and start in the middle and then build the rest around it. That's what I've found to be the easiest. If you start from the outside and go in, you find yourself sort of being trapped with pieces in the center that don't quite fit. And you really want the center of your work to look best. So work on that first and then the outsides kind of sort of fit together or the outside perimeter disappears into the black edges. If some are touching and then some are sort of expanded out, that's where you start to lose your design. It really does look best when they're all even in space. So in the kit, folks, you can see here, these are the pieces that I have left and it's out of each pack, I've gotten two trays finished. All right, folks, some other things to keep in mind is that if your pieces float up a little bit, you can just push them back down when it's a little bit wet. You can still move your pieces, adjust them a little bit when you're nearly done. Now you might notice there's a couple of spots that don't look shiny. You can just put a little bit more of the pouring medium on it. You can tilt it. Okay, you have to be careful though that your pieces don't run. If you've touched them down right to the bottom and made sure that they were glued down before you pour it on top, they shouldn't move at all. I glued the pieces on the side. All right, you can see it's a little bit cloudy. That'll clarify in a day or so. I used all of the pieces for two trays and the perimeter, and I have one piece I couldn't fit on. Other than that, our tray is complete. All right, that's it for today. Thank you for watching the JB Arts YouTube channel. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share with your friends. All of those things really help out Thank you very much. Have a great day.